Okay everyone, today I'm going to be seeing if a spider can stick to Teflon. Okay, so I have here a hobo spider, at least I'm pretty sure it's a hobo spider. Now the secret to Teflon's chemical resistivity and also its slickness has to do with the fact that it's made of a polymer that has a carbon backbone with a bunch of fluorine atoms attached to it. There are very little substances that can react with that fluorine and so basically nothing can chemically stick to it. Okay, so let's see if I can glue my finger to the Teflon. Okay, so I have some here for a control. Let's see if I can glue my fingers together and I'll stick one here. Okay, we're going to leave it here. So I have super glue in between my fingers here and on the Teflon here. So already this is <laughs> stuck together. Okay, we're already stuck. So those are not coming apart, completely sealed together now. <laughs> Luckily they're gloves and not my finger. <laughs> but let's try the Teflon now. So there's a little bit of adhesion there, but you can see it just peels right off. So look at that. So this is as smooth as can be. The super glue could not stick to the Teflon. So that's because of those fluorine atoms. They cannot react with the super glue at all. Now these things are really quick, so I gotta be careful here. Okay, I put my gloves on. It's kinda up in the air whether these things are venomous or not. Okay, here we go. Hey, it's sticking. Look at that. <laughs> it's sticking on the Teflon. Try to turn it upside down. Oh, it can't hang on. Oh, it fell off. So if I do it slow enough, it can actually stick. Whoa, look at that. It can stick. <laughs> That's amazing. So things have a hard time chemically reacting with the Teflon, but that doesn't mean that nothing can actually stick to it because of something called van der Waals forces. So van der Waals forces happen when two molecules come close enough together, their electric fields start to interact. So the electrons in one molecule can be attracted to the protons in another molecule and they actually start to attract, but they have to be really close together. For example, this is a pressure sensitive adhesive. It's really sticky, it sticks to me, it sticks to glass really easy, and also it sticks to Teflon. Just as good as it sticks to about anything. And the reason it can stick to Teflon is because it doesn't rely on any chemical reaction. What it relies on is van der Waals forces, kind of the same way that Gecko's feet work. So basically when you push this on a substance, the molecules come close enough together and it kind of slides in between the micro cracks of the Teflon and you can get them so close together that van der Waals forces takes over and it becomes sticky. So, and it can actually stick pretty good to the Teflon. But this isn't a permanent bond, you can always peel it off. Because in the end, van der Waals forces are never as strong as a real chemical reaction force. So what's interesting about this is I actually tried the spider on glass as well, but it couldn't stick to the glass as well as it could stick to the Teflon. In fact, I couldn't even get it vertical on the glass, it always slid off. So I think this does have to do with van der Waals forces, but it also has a lot to do with surface roughness because van der Waals forces will work better when there's micro bumps that can get molecules really close together. So the glass I used is extremely smooth, very little bumps on it. So the ability for a spider to climb some material has a lot to do with tiny little micro bumps on the surface of that material and also van der Waals forces which can keep it attached to something that's even really smooth. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.